Oh, we've got this funny story, right, from The Hill um, that supposedly Kanye Jenner's Instagram post sparked a 1,500% or 1,500% user increase to voter registration site. Absolutely insane. Now, obviously, the you know, the elections coming up in the US are probably the most important elections of the uh, whatever nonsense they talk about, right? But it's just in terms of societally, it probably is. And in terms of just the temperature of that country overall, of that nation, they probably do need somebody as, you know, um, dour, dead behind the eyes and close to their deathbed as a Joe Biden, just so they can take away from the drama, right? 2020 is a hard enough year as it is without having your president coming out saying some wild shit that Trump says. It's just too much, right? Even if he does do some good stuff, just as a person, the way he carries himself, it probably might make some sense for... It probably does make sense for the American public to be like, you know what? We probably need to get this guy out of office. Cool. I understand that that and that kind of point of view. But I really have an issue with these celebrities telling average everyday folk to make sure you register to vote and go out there, make your voices heard and all this sort of like virtue signaling bullshit. Voting is a ball ache. It is, right? Let's just call it a spade a spade. Voting isn't flipping it's not um as easy as they're making it out right you have to take time off of work you have to go to a bloody library or to a coffee shop or to a community center somewhere that you've never been a place that you've never bothered to visit um outside of where you're going to bring identification with you or bring that letter that they sent you prior to you getting your card it's such a ball lick. it's annoying it's like going to it's like going to open up a bank account in a bank right it's just going to take up half of your day you don't get any from it it's a bullshit incident i understand so for these celebrities to go out their way to tell us oh to vote make sure you register the mission register vote it's like yeah cool but i have to feed my kid right my husband lost his job my car got towed i have bigger things to worry about than voting it's mad to say that but that is the case but there also is this weird understanding especially in america more so i'd assume because they're celebrity obsessed that celebrities have a really really um what you call it they have a very um disproportionate um influence on the current affairs or the political climate in america it's insane that kai jenner's instagram post of her laying around in her amazing mansion in this tight bikini with her body looking fabulous covered in some sort of you know gel and glowing ointment is somehow going to spark the user increase in registration but it actually did this is from the hill says so the following it says here um a non-partisan voter registration organization said it saw a surge in users visiting um its voter registration and verification tool after reality tv TV um, and makeup mogul Kylie Jenner, right? The baby in a manger, as Tory Lane said, looking like an angel, um, included a link to the online resource along in an Instagram post encouraging her followers to vote. Jenner linked to a vote.org online tour in her Instagram bio and directed her 196 million followers. 196 million. That is just insane. Insane to have that many followers online. Just imagine what she must make just on... Because I know for myself, right? I've got like, what, 2,000 followers on Instagram? And I always get these unsolicited emails from or DMs from brands and stuff. Oh, you want to wear this stuff? Well, this sort of bullshit, right? So I can only imagine... I can imagine that's probably part of a tool where they sort of are able to kind of hit up, you know, micro-influencers, people that have like followers under 5,000, under 10, da, 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 da. So there must be a certain threshold where if you get up a certain number, you just have to earn... You just generate this kind of income because certain brands hit you up because they want to... Adver- you want to advertise, flat tummy tea, however it may be so imagine what she must make just on instagram alone from people telling her to like hey post you standing around with this water bottle post you standing around with this teeth whitening thing imagine what she just make from that forget what she does with her makeup line what she does with her clothes what she does with her tv appearances and all that other stuff just what she must make on instagram alone it must be insane insane mad mad madness so it says yeah um and let's actually go to the post actually let's view the post why not why not where's the post there it is right here da, da, da. So this is a, this is her post on Instagram where she's looking fabulous. And it says here the following um, the captions like, but are you registered to vote? Click the link in the bio. And she's looking m- mad, like tighter than tight in her flipping bikini in, in this amazing kind of, you know, couch set thing she's got on the outside of her amazing mansion. Just looking fabulous, right? Great way to kind of advertise. Again, what's tagged here? Kylie Skin, of course, that glistening product that's making herself look amazing. And what? what's the aesthetic? I don't know what that is. Is that um? Is that like a gym person? Who is that? Saviana Aesthetics. What is that? Uh, is that like a makeup thing? What is that? Is that like a mood? Is that a... M- what is that? It's not makeup. Is it a plumper? I have no idea what that is. What is it? What they do? What's that lip thing about? 
Happy filler day. Okay, they do lip injections and stuff. I don't know what they do. Who cares? But anyway, that one post that Kylie Jenner posted sparked, the, uh, again, the resurgence of votes. And again, it's, it's unfair the amount of influence politi- <laughs> celebrities have in politics or in just world affairs in general. But it's great to see them using their platform to get regular everyday folk to do some, you know, to do some good in the world. But it just, it does get a bit annoying when, you know, you have celebrities who have all the time in the world lounging around on their sunbeds, you know, uh, looking tanned, looking hot to tell you working free jobs to try and keep the light on to register to vote. Like, look, I know I have registered to vote. I get it. But I'll get around to it when I'm ready to get around to it. I don't need you to tell me to do stuff. Do you know what I mean? Just look hot and keep doing what you're doing. Uh, you know what I mean? that, that's the annoying part of it, I'd say. But yeah, congratulations to her, man. And then, I, then I thought to myself, you know what? What's that bloody house look like? And then, of course, I typed it in. And I was like, God damn, that headline. Her Kylie Jenner's house reportedly dropped. She reportedly dropped 36.5 million on this house that she's got. And I'm, I'm guessing this is the same home that all the nonsense happened with um, Megan Thee Stallion and Tory Lane. So an absolutely legendary household. And look at that. Just look at what that looks like, right? Amazing. Um, wall structure on the outside it looks it looks a little bit drakish on the inside but i love the fact that it's got this mad sort of like um open pool sort of like beach house fingers on the outside with a little gym in there it looks fabulous doesn't it the dining room the wet what's the, what's, the, what's the wet bar i guess it's where you go and drink and shit right the game room the wet bar um look at that the pool area and these little square little bits that you can kind of chill in 36.5 million god damn it man god bless that family 